Hi, this is Just About Powers and welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video that I posted in, in YouTube. And please, that's my son. Please give me, a, give me a thumbs up if you like it, if you define this is very helpful information. And please subscribe in my channel if you like me to do more videos. So today what we're doing is I will cut my I already cut my hair obviously today I'm gonna show you how to get rid of your dead frizzy damaged hair so this hairstyle as you see it's like a million times looks healthier than the old time and please if you want to watch and you wanna see how did I this do this first up? Watch the video and enjoy. So what we need is a big tooth comb. I need this, especially if you have very damaged hair, because you want to save as long or as much as you can you need to save your hair from falling so I'm using a big tooth comb so I will not keep losing my hair and first we're gonna comb it And then as you see, I already sectioned my hair in two, half. See, it's just, okay, I will leave it there since we're gonna cut it. So all you need is a comb. If you have a nice hair, you can use brush. Four rubber bands and a scissor. First, we're gonna section our hair. I already did that, but I want to make it more center. Yeah, I do things. This thing in the bathroom because I don't want to clean on my bedroom with all my hair yeah. in the carpet. Here we go. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna suction in the back here. And do that. Next step is to get a piece of rubber band. Make sure you don't leave hair at the back because it will leave you funny. So first I will tie this one to here. Now, we make sure that both of them are even. See, so your hair is even too. And then, the next step, why we need the four rubber bands? A lot of people just do this, just one rubber band, and then they just cut. Me, I do four so to secure that my hair stays, and I will like, you know, when we cut the hair it's gonna be even so I'm gonna get another rubber band and what we're gonna do with the next one is we're gonna tie our hair 
on whichever we want. This is the length of your hair. So like that. So since I want to get rid a lot of damaged hair, it's super dry and dead. I will aim not that short because my husband don't like my hair short. So I will aim like this. I'm gonna get the other one and then tie the other side. And you can pull it down and make sure they are same length. And oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> and now we need our scissors. So I have these big scissors because my hair is, you know, I don't want to deal with a small one and then I'm going to keep doing it. I just want to, I don't know. Oh my god, help me. So now we're going to cut under the rubber band. Okay? And then get rid of all this dead hair. my hair I will tie this hair it looks funny huh? so it will not make a mess everywhere you can just throw it in the trash still like hi Baba now my hair looks funny and let's see what's gonna be the result see so all of those ha dead hair are gone Here's the result, the shoulder length. And since we have very harsh end, what I'm gonna do is I will um, layer my hair and then smoothing it out. So what we're gonna do is comb your hair and put into layers. Video, helpful videos as much as I can. I have time. Next video, if you're gonna give me a thumbs up or if people will love my video, I will teach you how to do uh, incredible eyebrows because obviously I don't have makeup on to me and then my brows not that way. So let's go back to this hair. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do this to my hand. See? I'm gonna flatten my hair and then I'm gonna do this angle. See? Like angle my hand. As you see. And then I can see those. Um, let's make it smaller. So you want to come back so like this. See? You see all those uneven hair? You can cut them off. And then, after you cut them off, I will even them out. I will like smooth them doing this. Look what I'm doing, guys. You need to pay attention in this part because this part will leave your hair not too harsh looking, like just straight cut. This one gonna smoothen out everything. So 
So what am I doing and what am I trying to achieve now? Have you seen Kylie Jenner hair? That's what am I doing right now? Yeah, I dyed my hair to look like a Tenari star and then we're gonna do other side. Remember, mommy is doing something. You're scared in what? You're scared in the show? You want mommy to change it? My hair is so like um, thin. See, I can just do like other side, just one of this. But you know, as 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 you see earlier, I like first I layer it first and just do small things. I'm just aiming all the chop chop. You can really see themselves even though. See? Have you seen that? Someone's there. Like, hi, I'm just hanging around in here. See? Now they're all straight and you just need to smooth them out. Like, yeah. We're gonna go layer the next here and then do the same thing. You guys, how to do bangs too? Take the Korean style, but not something like that. Thing. <laughs> so, I'll just do a kind of China here. How's that? Hi, Baba. Oh, is that your bun? That's pretty cool, bun, huh? So, there's something you must know. Since we cut it like in the front, our hair at the back is gonna be a pointy one. So, I'll show you this one. It's gonna be like that. Some people want to leave it pointy, some people want it straight. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna leave it pointy first. You will know if it's pointy when you do this to your hair. And you bring it down, then you flatten it with your hand. You flatten it up, I see. There's like, it's, it looks like parallel. It means the back is pointy one. You can make it straight by cutting it out. But now, we're gonna take a look if it looks nice to us and parallel, or we just stick on the straight. So, let's see first. 
because you know we can't go back if we destroy our hair and then we will not like it. Things. He said needs a lot of work. The other one, the other one is And this one is just need some help. Nobody stop, buddy! No barking! That's our neighbor! part is to iron your hair. So I put iron to 10 only as it is because my hair is already dry and damaged. So I'm going to do it And I do iron them. And you will see the real results when they were straight out. Let's see if we were good. And I love what I'm seeing, honestly. Look, look longer. And I'm hiding a very long time here. Here. Loki! Stop barking to the neighbor, buddy! Be nice! Use what you need to, especially if you have thick hair, you need to lay your hair when you iron it. But not too much. So since I decided I don't want that pointy hair, what we're gonna do is put your hair in half, determine where's the long one. So obviously the long one is going to be back with this ear in here in the back. Get it? You can do layer, you can do all, but I'll do all because I have very, very skinny hair. Combo help. aiming this long one see yeah now we're gonna cut them mm. Alright, I'm gonna go straight. Mm -hmm. Get the other side. Get the other side. Because the more you go, the more you're gonna be like more. 
I put in my hair, I'll show you later. I put something in my hair so it will protect my hair from more dying and drying. I use a different condition, it's really good. It's, I recommend it. done guys I want you to subscribe in my channel I will appreciate it that much and if you don't like this video please leave a comment as I said so I will know and I will stop doing things thank you so much guys for watching it and I'm I'm hoping that I give you some information and help that's my goal have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.